Assalamu alaikum students this is Sarabdul Samad Khan and today we are going to learn some other topics from the chapter of algebra for grade 7 matriculation so let's get started in algebra in vertical method the expression to be subtracted is written below the other expression such that like terms are in the same column since subtraction means addition of the additive inverse Therefore, the signs of the lower expression are changed then added with the other expression. In horizontal method, the expression after from should be written first and then the second expression should be written and then subtracted. Let us learn this with, us with some examples. Example number 1. Subtract the following expressions by horizontal method. Okay, if we see in this example, we have given the two expressions. The first expression is a square plus 2ab plus b square. And the second expression is a square minus 2ab plus b square. And we have to ask to find, uh, to minus or to subtract both the expressions by horizontal method. Horizontal method is to solve any expression, any two expression or more than two expressions in a single draw like this. Okay. Uh, one thing we need to remember is that uh, uh, the expression which comes after from after this wording from should always be taken first okay and the second expression should always be taken secondly number two we have to put the minus sign because there is a wording of subtraction number two is that uh, uh, whenever the bracket or the value contains the minus sign before it we need to change all the signs of all the values which are inside the bracket so it will become like this minus plus is minus 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 is plus and minus plus is again minus number third is this a square contains the positive sign and this a square contains the negative sign so both the values will cancel each other similarly this b square and this b square have the different signs so this these two values will, or will uh, also cancel each other but these two values have the same signs okay plus two and plus two so as we know that uh, in uh, the addition of algebra we just need to add the coefficients so it will become 2ab plus 2ab will become 4ab we don't need to add the powers because adding the power is actually the part of the multiplication which we are going to uh, learn in the upcoming slides okay so that's our final answer for this question example number two subtract the following expression by vertical method okay the same question we have taken uh, but uh, the method is different we have asked to find out uh, the subtraction of both the expression by vertical method vertical method is to solve the expressions in two different columns uh, two different rows sorry so what we need to do we need to take the first expression and then we need to write the second expression before uh, below the first expression okay and uh, in the vertical method we need to we need to change the sign of the below expression that is like this this uh, a square contains positive sign now so it will become minus this minus will become plus and this plus will become minus okay finally these two values will cancel each other because both the values contains the different signs these two values also cancel with each other but these two values have the same sign this is the final sign for 2ab so plus plus will become plus and 2ab plus 2ab will become 4ab so that's our final answer for this question and this is how can you solve the subtraction or the addition of uh, two expression by vertical method now multiplication in multiplication when the bases are same powers or the exponents should be added for example a times a square as we know that any value that does not uh, have the power always contains the power as one okay and the statement uh, states that whenever the two values or the bases are same as there are two a's they are same and they are multiplying with each other we need to add the powers okay this a contains the power 1 and this a contains the power 2 so it will become 1 plus 2 which is equal to 3 so our final answer for a times a square is actually a3 now let us learn this with the help of some examples example number 3 okay in this question as we see that there are two similar bases a and a but they have contains the different powers so what we need to do we need to write the question first and secondly as we have learned in the previous slide that the rule is when the two values are multiplying the same values or same bases are multiplying with each other the power should be added 
that means we have to add this 2 and this 5 2 plus 5 which is actually equal to 7 so our final answer for this question is a to the power of positive 7 okay now okay in this question if we see that there are three terms inside the bracket and there is a single term before the bracket so what we need to do we need to multiply the uh, value which is before the bracket individually with every value inside the bracket okay or you can also say that we have to we are going to distribute the outside value with uh, each of the inside value the equation the expression will become somehow like this okay now what we need to do we need to arrange the values like uh, constant will be uh, will be arranged with the constant and the same family will be uh, will be with the same family like this okay so uh, what i have done in this step i just took the value uh, constant with uh, i just took the con constant together and uh, this p cube will be taken with this p square because the family is same and this q cube is actually taken with this q and uh, this r cube does not have the other family so i have just written this as it is and the same procedure I've, i have applied in the other two expressions as well okay now uh, if we see these two twos are multiplying with each other that means 2 times 2 is 4 and there is a minus sign so it will become minus 4 okay and uh, in the bracket if we see that both the bases are same and they are multiplying with each other so the rule which we have learned in the previous slide is that whenever the bases are same and they are multiplying with each other the power should be either that means it will become 3 plus 2 similarly this will become 3 plus 1 and this r contains the power 3 okay and uh, minus minus actually plus okay and 2 times 3 2 times 3 is 6 similarly 3 plus 1 is like the, we, we can write is like this and uh, these two powers will also be added like 3 plus 2 and this r3 uh, we have written as it is and finally this plus 2 appears over here and uh, this p contains the power 3 and this p contains the power 1 so it will become 3 plus 1 and this q plus contains the power 3 and this r these two r's contains the power 3 plus 2 now in the final step we just need to add the powers like it will become 3 plus 2 is 5 3 plus 1 is 4 3 plus 1 is uh, 4 3 plus 2 is 5 3 plus 1 is 4 and 3 plus 2 is 5 and all the values uh, if you see that all the three terms are not the like terms so we are not allowed to add or subtract the value so that's our final answer for this question so that's all from today's video hopefully you all understand this video and inshallah we'll meet you in the next lecture with some other topics from the chapter of algebra so till the next time thank you so much for watching and allah hafiz